What are you doing? This is because of you. Come and tell them hi. Hi, beautiful people. This is Mr. Mecca. <laughs> No, that's her name. That's not my name. What's your name then? Tell them. I don't know if you see your face. See. I'm very camera shy. So let's see. Her. I don't appear on my videos. Um, yeah, I think I'm camera shy. I was <laughs> too. I don't appear on my videos most times. Um, so I'm so busy or she's doing a recording at some old ass. Anyway. Tell them thank you for coming, watching, commenting, everything nice. Tell them. Okay. She said. <laughs> <laughs> um thanks everyone thanks um makers um community thank you for all your support your encouragement your comments your views your likes everything you've done to encourage the channel thank you you know so keep it up you know spread our videos around and everything i'm not into video stuff so be he's the backbone so he I supports mean. everything he doesn't like yeah i couldn't be doing this if he was not supporting so thank you so we are making this recipe really for him because this man really? he eats peanuts like he's going out of fashion and it's a bit bad i think he eats but too much you. yeah so you see I'm, i've just got the peanuts here and he's eating it now don't touch it again okay uh, no more some. no Did i have said <laughs> Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to a new video. Thank you so much for clicking in. This is Mecca. This is Mecca's Garden and Kitchen Healing Journey, where I share growing my own food and also making healthy recipes from my kitchen. So today we are obviously in the kitchen and I am making a healthy version of peanuts. So it's a peanut cookie, a peanut cake, whatever you call it, but we grew up calling it Kuli Kuli. Kuli Kuli. That was a song actually about Kuli Kuli. When I go to party, Kuli Kuli make me dance well. <laughs> if you know that song, if you don't know it, guys, you are you you, you need to respect me, like put a lot of respect to the space because yeah, that is a song from the 80s, okay? Sharing my age a bit. We have peanuts, we have some yaji or suya pepper. This is just a mixture of, actually there is some Kuli Kuli in here because it's got peanuts as well, but it's easier to use this than to add ginger, chilies and stuff separately. That's why, I, why I'm doing that. And then I have some garlic powder and onion powder here. That is just to give us an extra oomph. And we also have sugar. Yes, unfortunately we're gonna be using sugar, but this is a non-refined sugar. This is coconut sugar and a little bit of water. Okay, water will be added in increments. Now, I try as much as possible to give you every single step, but if you do anything in this recipe, do not miss extracting the oil. That was what will give you your crunch, and that is what will make this thing to be kuli kuli. Without that, it won't be kuli kuli. Add our peanuts into our blender. And if you have one of these in your blender, you need it because it will make a difference. It's nearly there, not quite smooth yet. We still have some lumps. So we're just gonna ensure we have every every crumb blended smoothly. Okay, we have a nice paste. So this here is a hard, hard work. So I'm gonna start just by kneading it. So guys, I have just missed the clip. I have added the all the spices. I added the suya spice, the garlic and the onion powder and also the sugars and we're just gonna knead until we start getting the oil out so here's a bit of elbow grease guys i had to come down to the ground because this kneading i think i added too much water and this is where people fail with this now Add your water in really small increments, so important. And then if you add too much, you might need to add some more peanut butter, but you see the oil is beginning to separate now. It's gonna just take a little bit longer, but you see the oil is dripping now, okay? So the kneading is the key. You have to knead really well. Guys, this job is a labor of love, okay? I have been kneading for I don't know how long. Look at the oil I got out. So 
this is oil hubby will not be drinking thankfully and what i'm gonna do now i'll add little drops of water essentially just in little increments because you still want to squeeze out some oil but you don't want it to be you you don't want it crumbly like so as it is now so i've just added that water and then i'm just gonna go again and it will get harder and then the oil will come out again so it's essential you try and get as much squeeze in as you can I'm, i've given up on squeezing so now you can use this and wrap it over your you know your dough but the problem with paper towels it will stick it will stick to it and it will start coming um at being attached to the dough but you can see oil already so i've got a nice and clean very clean kitchen towel and so we're gonna now knead over it just so that we can get as much oil out i don't mind not wasting that oil now because it's too labor intensive so we're just gonna squeeze there are machines that can do this but this is an easier way to do it if you don't want to save the oil you just knead it onto a kitchen towel and it will absorb the oil like so uh, at least the materials of the fabric will not be on here so you can see oil there now it's not a lot but it is oil but now i think this will just do the job the last bit of oil left that will take me time to squeeze guys i've done a good workout today if i had if i had one of those um <laughs> those tracking wristwatches, i'll probably see that i have done up to maybe i've burnt about five thousand calories needing because i've made two videos which involved physical activity next pop that on a uh, parchment paper and we roll it So good, gonna go ahead and shape the others as we like and bake this at 150 degrees for 20 minutes and it will be ready. Guys, so we have made different shapes. Make this thing exciting, okay? If you wanna know how to make the spiral, I'll just show you. Just take your dough and roll it like so until you get your desired length. And then you take your spiral and you start spinning it just gently otherwise it will snap like that our cookies are ready nice and crunchy Mmm, the dark color, it's because of the coconut sugar. Other than that, it's come out really, really good. And it's homemade and we've reduced the oil in it. So all in all, there's a win-win. It's a lot of work, I must admit. I didn't enjoy this job, <laughs> squeezing the oil, but we got all this oil, that oil. And thank you so much for watching. Has this video added value to you? Have you enjoyed the video? If you have, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this recipe. Obviously not using your own individual spices, just using suya spice. Different, it cuts corners a bit. But it, 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 all in all, it's giving me the results that you know you get at the end of the day. It's coolie coolie, it's crunchy, it's oven baked, it's healthier than frying. And hopefully, hubby, <laughs> who we made this for, <clears throat> will get to eat some. <laughs> Anyway, no. hopefully you enjoy it. And for me, I'm going to have some tiger nut milk. Yeah, I just made some nice fresh tiger nut milk. Look at that. This is like delicious. Mm. This is good. This is good with that. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh dear.
guys i have to go now and enjoy this okay thank you and if you haven't yet kindly subscribe like the video share the video to your loved ones and until next time see you in another video thank you so much for watching Mwah. bye, -bye.